In sweep analysis mode, multiple configurable traces can be viewed simultaneously. For example, for moving or intermittent signals, a max hold trace can be useful for showing the peak level reached at a given frequency over time. Likewise, an average trace can show the average level of a given frequency over time, which might vary significantly from the peak. Use the markers panel to find, compare, and contrast peaks and other points of interest on the traces. Press the peak search button to find the point with the highest amplitude. Examine peaks in frequency order with the peak left and peak right buttons, using the threshold and excursion controls to filter out false peaks. Use delta markers to find the frequency and level difference between two points. Or examine peaks by descending order of amplitude using next peak. Enable peak tracking to automatically track a peak in real time. The Occupied Bandwidth panel in Sweep Analysis Mode of Spike is used to measure the bandwidth containing a given percentage of the total integrated power of a transmitted signal. The percentage can be adjusted from 70 to 99%. Then, the center frequency of the sweep can be updated to reflect the measured center frequency of the signal with the click of a button. The peak table panel in sweep mode of spike can help keep track of multiple signals at different frequencies. This is especially useful for things like multi-tone signals where there is more than one peak. Use the threshold and excursion to filter the list to focus in on the important parts of the signal. Then, use sort order to sort the peaks in the order that makes sense. The peaks are clearly labeled on the plot and the data is neatly displayed in the table that can be easily copied and pasted into a spreadsheet. In sweep mode of spike, use a display line to quickly visualize an amplitude across the graticule. This comes in handy any time traces are being referenced against a set amplitude. That amplitude can be derived from a max hold trace, but takes up a lot less plot real estate. The channel power panel in Spike enables you to set the bandwidth of the central channel and define up to five adjacent channels, each with its own frequency offset and bandwidth. Set the color of the central channel to distinguish it from the adjacent channels. Results are displayed in a table for quick reference and can also be logged to file. Ensure nothing slips through the cracks with real-time mode. Real-time analysis mode guarantees 100% probability of intercept for signals of a specific duration. The persistence display shows spectral density at each point in the sweep. For short duration spectral events, such as spurious emissions or interference hunting, real-time analysis is critical. Real-time mode also excels for monitoring spread spectrum signals and observing frequency hopping communication channels. Use zero span mode to measure time varying signals such as pulses. Add as many plots as you need to measure and visualize your signal from every angle, using the smart grid system to automatically lock your plots into place. Plots include spectrum waterfall and various time domain plots.
set a trigger to catch a pulse and freeze it in its position. Zero in on it in the time overview plot region window. Then scale plot axis and drag a zoom window to examine the envelope more closely. Use the waterfall plot with integrated spectrum view to scrub through time and see how the signal changes, and measure the pulse amplitude with delta markers. Zero Span Waterfall Use a waterfall plot to investigate signals across the dimensions of time, intensity, and frequency all at once. Use the waterfall's integrated spectrum plot to visualize the signal at a given point in time and perform trace functions such as max hold and peak search. Test emission regulation requirements with ease and generate reports in EMC pre-compliance mode. Set up 10 log scaled sweep ranges with custom limits and sweep parameters. Set up path loss and antenna factor tables for calibrating your test setup. See all spurs that break the user defined limits and thresholds in the peak table. Test signals of interest using the quasi peak, peak, and average detectors in the bar meter plot or scan all spurs with one button. Then, export the meter readings directly or generate a PDF report with relevant information and images. Gain insight into your signals using Spike's digital modulation analysis tools. Analyze transmissions with push-button demodulation of a variety of digital modulations common in cellular communications, Internet of Things, machine-to-machine, -machine, and other radio applications such as PSK, QAM, ASK, FSK, and custom constellation patterns using several standard filter types. Measure signal quality with an array of RF performance metrics. Find SNR signal to noise ratio. Access modulation quality with EVM, error vector magnitude, magnitude, and phase error. Characterize impairments with IQ offset, amplitude droop, and group delay via equalization filters. Pattern match on a preamble or other given sequence of bits with configurable search length and offset. Use adaptive equalization to remove linear effects and impairments over the measurement channels such as fading, multipath, reflections, and those produced by system components such as filters and amplifiers.